Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. It's Celtic Link here and in today's video we're going to be talking about whether or not you should summon for the Dokkan Fest, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and STR Kid Buu. Um, we'll also be talking about when I think the banners are going to drop uh, because you know we're kind of at a state now where we're really unsure but I think I have an idea and so we'll go over that in this video. Um, but before we jump into it, um, if you haven't already done so, give that video a like. Comment down below if you think that it's worth summoning on this banner, or if not, I'd love to hear your opinion on the matter. And if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you care about the videos that I'm putting out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so here we are on the current Sand Day campaign for Global. All right, and in order to kind of figure out when this banner is going to drop, we want to take a look at three areas. One, when the Dokkan Festival Vegeta is leaving. Two, when the Elder Kai banner is leaving. And three, when the stone sales are ending. So looking at this, the stone sales look like they're going in about 1559 PST tomorrow afternoon. Um, so depending on your time zone, you want to plus or minus however many hours. So for me, I'm Hawaii time. So you're probably going to, I'm, I'm going to minus two hours from that time. This is California time, PST. So I'm going to minus two hours from this time. And that's going to put me at about um, one o'clock. These, these stones are going to go away for me, right? When I look at the Elder Kai banner, same thing tomorrow night at about eight o'clock for me t uh, at 20, 29 or 22. 22, 29 PST, the Elder Kai banners are going to go away. Okay, and then about an hour or about a day and an hour later, the Dokkan Festival Vegeta goes away. Now, Dokkan doesn't typically like to leave the stone sails gone for too long, and they don't like to have a gap too often between this banner, the Elder Kai banner, and the Dokkan Festival banner, right? Because, you know, if there's a gap between stones leaving and a new banner coming in they're missing out on sales they're missing out on potential money being made so we can safely assume that sometime between i would say that when this elder kai banner leaves which will be at about eight o'clock my time tomorrow and about um eight o'clock or i'm sorry uh minus two hours yeah yeah at about eight o'clock my time on the first so within that 24-hour period, we should see the banners drop sometime within that period. I can't imagine that there's going to be too large of a gap between these two things leaving. Um, so sometime between the end of this banner and the end of this banner. I would honestly not see not be surprised to see this show up, you know, for the banner to show up shortly after this leaves, you know, within an hour to two hours, if only because that would allow them to more quickly put the zones back up. But anyways, that's kind of just my opinion on when it drops. I could be wrong. Hopefully when we get the Dano download suit, we'll have a better answer. But so with that, let's go ahead and jump in and let's take a look at the banners themselves. So let's start with the Goku banner, right? So you've got the main headliner unit, the Goku, right? The Goku is the battle to protect tomorrow, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, right? He leads Battle of Fate Accelerated Battle for key 3, 132 HP and 170 to attack and defense. He raises attack and defense on one turn, causes immense damage, and has a medium chance of stunning the enemy, right? And uh, his passive is key 2, attack and defense 180%. Plus an additional attack and defense 50% when performing a super attack. He has the ability to launch additional super attacks that have a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And he has a high chance to perform a critical hit. So, you know, he's got he, he's he's got everything, right? He can crit, he can additional, and he can stun. Right? He's pretty crazy in his base form alone. But then when you hit below 77% HP, you can transform into Super Saiyan 3, which now you're greatly raising attack and defense, still with the chance to stun, but now you're also giving yourself key 3 and 200% at the start of turn, and you're getting an additional attack and defense when you're performing super attack. Now this is important because now not only is he launching just one additional attack, he launches up to two. Now if you got hidden potential investment, you know, you're talking you can get up to three or four additional super attacks with him, each with a high chance of being a super attack. Okay. 
On top of that, he has a great chance of getting critical hits for the first six turns and a high chance after the seventh. So again, he does everything. He's got some crazy numbers, even without a 200% lead. Okay, so you're stacking this unit alone, probably one of the best TRs in the game so far against the rest of the banner. The rest of the banner consists of the AGL LR Gohan from the, what is it, the 250 million download celebration, the um, Goten and Gohan from the Broly movie, Tech Janemba, SDR Bojack, Ant Gotenks, and AGL Bardock. Um, I would say the really big wink link on this banner is probably the Bardock, although I could see them removing him and replacing him with either Kale and Klepla or SDR Vegito, uh, not Vegito, Vegeta, uh, the Super Vegeta that came out earlier this year, um, being that Bardock was literally just on the Saiyan Day banner. Um, so I could see them moving him off and replacing it for one of those, right? Um, as far as the banner goes itself, though, right, you know, Gohan's all right. He's still a good stacker on the Hybrid Saiyans team and Android Cell Saga team, uh, which is still kind of getting built up right now so he's a good stacker for that team you know he's starting to show his age a bit damage wise but as far as stacking goes he still gets the job done uh for long form events the gohan and goten are great on siblings bond but not much else um i did try them out on the lve siblings bond team and they did all right so you know i can't say they're terrible but you know definitely not one of the better lrs we've had recently Tech Janemba is still good. He's still a great tank. His only issue being that he lacks the ability to get key, um, even when you've got, say, even the Fizz Janemba. So you really... He's not a terrible pickup if you don't have him. He can help with missions like the Corroded Body and Mind mission for the GT Goku event. But, you know, he... Next to Bardock, I think he's the second weakest member of this roster. SDR Bojack is amazing. He's a great unit. He's kind of the a more supportive role for space traveling warriors but like the str cooler he he builds up and he he, he can uh, be pretty decent once built up after transformation in gotenks um he gets underrated a lot but he's friggin amazing um i just did a recent showcase on him at rainbow level 10 links under majin vegeta's lead and he cuts through content like a hot knife like butter so if you don't have him he's definitely a good pickup that being said, the banner in its totality, I'm going to imagine that most people probably have a lot of these units at least at 55%. So that really kind of diminishes the value of the banner for me okay? as a personal note. With that being said, right, you're stacking all of these guys up against the Goku, right? So I want you to keep that in mind as we go through the Kid Buu banner, and then we'll kind of come back and whether or not, tell you whether or not I think we should summon. All right, so let's take a look at the Kid Buu, right? So the Kid Buu on his banner, same thing as the Goku, right? Leading Battle of Fate, but now he leads Majin Buu Saga, and he gives 170 to attack and defense, or attack and HP, but defense only gives 130. He raises attack and defense for one turn, he causes immense damage, and he has a chance to sun. He gets 180 um, only on, on his start, but he gets an attack and defense... 30% with each attack perform, and he can get up to 120 on his uh, additional support. Uh, he does have the ability to launch additionals, just like Goku. Um, however, he does recover 20% of HP instead of getting that extra crit chance, right? He also has the ability to nullify any unarmed super attacks that come his way. His active skill is not a transformation. However, it is a flat 20% buff uh, for the rest of the battle once it's activated um, and it can be activated with Majin Buu character enemies or if you've received six or more attacks so not a terrible condition and all around both of these units are just crazy bonkers so again comparing that unit and how good it is to the rest of his banner I would definitely say Kid Buu looking at it just that first glance is better than the Goku's right you've got Fizz Beerus, Tech Buu, Tech Gohan AGL PyCon, the Fizz Blue Boys, and the LR Cell. Um, I would say the weakest links on this banner are probably the Fizz Beerus and the Boo, although the Boo's probably seen a little more light um, considering he does fall under Vegeta's 200% lead. So he can look all right under that, uh, but otherwise, you know, he's, he's, he's not that great. Um, Beerus, 
again, he's very conditional. The problem with Beerus is, you know, it just the lack of uh the lack of good linking partners and the lack of good uh teams on the realm of gods, right? On realm of gods, you're probably wanting to run like blue Gokus and Vegetas or UI Gokus, which aren't really conducive to running a Beerus, right? So that's his main problem. But you got Tech Gohan and PyCon, which are just amazing units. Tech Gohan is still the wall. He's still amazing, right? You should check out my video I did on him. Uh, I don't think he's overrated at all. I think he does his job, and that is be a guarding unit, right? AGL PyCon is great. He's a good support unit. He provides a lot to his to the teams that he's on. Uh, Movie Heroes, Other World Warriors, Connected Hope. You know, he provides a lot to that team. He's given support. He's given key. He's uh, stealing. He is, you know, he, he's able to hold his own. And plus that free Ghost Usher he has. So AGL PyCon is good. I would definitely say the two best units outside of the Kid Buu itself are probably these two, the PyCon and the Gohan. Blue Boys are starting to, I don't want to say they're aging. They're great. The problem is there are so many other units on the representatives of universe seven and the universal survival saga category teams right so they kind of they find themselves pushed off because there's just so many other good units on that team you would rather run instead um and then there's lr and cell who most people are probably going to have a bunch of copies of and you know he's just he's definitely one of the weaker lrs he's starting to show his age um he's good for the for his uh heal that he gives but other than that he's he's not got much use so looking at those banners um we want to decide now whether or not we should summon my recommendation is going to be the same recommendation i made for vegeta right when you look at these units and you see how broken they are and, and they are you got to decide for yourself do i want this unit if the answer is yes, then I would say summon. If you've got the stones, right, I would say if you're, if you're more than 500 stones, it's not going to hurt to do the the discounted multis and the tickets um, because these units are definitely worth, worth the pickup. Now, if you're below 500, though, right, I would highly recommend maybe holding off, right? Uh, if only because the anniversary is two months away, golden week, possible dual celebration is next month, and we don't know what's coming. It might be more beneficial to hold off until these guys return on either the download celebration this year or the Tanabata banner. It may be better to hold off for when they return then, because um, then that way maybe you could have enough coins to pick them up with coins and not have to waste your stones. But Ultimately, you know, summoning is up to you. If you like a character and it's just killing you saving, then go for it. Summon for them. They're worth it. You know, you're not going to hurt anything giving it a go. But just know that every stone you spend on these banners to pick up these crazy units, this Goku and this Boo, is one less stone, one less multi you're going to have on the seven-year anniversary, which is what most people are saving for. All right. So anyways, guys, that's the video. That's my recommendation on whether or not you should summon. Again, ultimately, it's up to you. I say go for it. I will personally be going for the Goku, maybe not so much the Kid Buu. I'll probably wait on the Kid Buu, but you know, again, that's just my recommendation, right? Um, so if you guys liked this video, if you guys liked my recommendation, give the video a like. If you disagree with my recommendation, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about summoning on these banners. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not already. I would Let me know what uh, things you'd like me to put out more often. And if anything else, thanks for watching. And aloha, guys.